Wake of that snow that's expected, schools will have to make a decision whether they have school or stay home. And while some tri-state schools can switch to e-learning, many are choosing not to do that. New at 6, WGEM's Dylan Smith has more on why districts are saying no to the modern option. It's not at all uncommon to see students as young as third grade with a laptop in class. And Carthage Elementary Superintendent Dustin Day says in the classroom is where education needs to stay. When you talk about e-learning days, I cannot guarantee that there's somebody with that child, you know, when they're studying at home. Um, I can't guarantee that that person is available to help them. Carthage Elementary is one of many tri-state school districts sticking with traditional snow days. In addition to Day's concerns he has about supervision, he believes the strain it puts on parents and younger students is too much. A lesson he says the district learned from the pandemic. Did we have um, the outcome that we wanted when they were at home? And what we felt as a district was the outcome was not there. Um, yes, they did learn, but what type of learning did they actually get? That's the same view at Quincy Public Schools, a district more than 10 times the size of Carthage Elementary. QPS Superintendent Todd Pettit says the larger the district, the more challenges there are. Lots of variables that we might miss those those students and making up a day at the end of the year um, is, is a better option for us. Under Illinois state law, schools are allowed five e-learning days per school year. But will e-learning ever completely take place of a traditional snow day? I don't see that as something that we would do in the immediate future. Dylan Smith, WGEM News. And Pettit says he plans to make a decision by 6 a.m. tomorrow on whether school will be in session or not. And for the latest on closings and cancellations, just go to our website, WGEM.com.